Great translation. It's a great translation. It says, And Yahuwah said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two people shall be separated from your body. And one people shall be stronger than the other, and the older serve the younger. So right here, you have to understand that Rebecca was pregnant. She was pregnant with twins. And it says two nations were in her womb. So that's simple. Two nations were in, was in her womb. Esau represents a nation. Jacob represents a nation. So a lot of Hebrew Israelites, they will say, see that? They were twins. Fraternal twins. But that is not true. Esau and Jacob were identical twins. Oh, he done lied. Hold on now. That was a lie, lie, huh? Look at his face. Liar. Hold on now. Let's get some scriptures after that. He said they were identical twins. First and foremost, call Halala Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rekwakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, the prophets, and the teachers at GMS who rule well and who have been bringing out this 100% truth for 30 plus years. Double honors. And to the sincere Akiyawa Akwath of the one third, salutations. Let's get this. So um, he was in Genesis 25, which I just have um, the point in Genesis. So let me go ahead and get to, um, let me just pull it up. There we go. Ugh. Man, he told he said that too. He said they were identical twins. And that's the only thing I really want to touch on with this moron. So um these these Christians are getting stupider by the day. I read a, a dumb version of the Bible. It doesn't matter what version of the Bible you read. You know why? Because when you bring it back to the Hebrew. I don't even know some some of these Bibles. You might even not be able to translate them back to Hebrew because you've rewritten them so many times. The words aren't going to match up anymore. So let's see. Let's see where is it at? Uh, and okay. So we're going to start at verse 21 in Genesis chapter 5, but we're going to read it out of the King James Version. That way, if we need to translate anything, we can go ahead and get that and make sure we're bringing out the correct interpretation of the 100% truth. Let's get it. And Isaac entreated the Yahweh for his wife because she was barren. And Yahweh was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived. So Rebecca was kind of old when she conceived. She, she never had kids. She only had these guys. Let's keep going. And Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And one people shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. Now, I don't know where he got that they were identical twins. Because... Let me go ahead and just keep reading a couple more verses. This is why, you know what the word fool means? The translation of fool in Hebrew is stupid. You're a sodish child. You are one of the sodish children. You are stupid. Let me keep reading and show you why I'm saying you're stupid. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Oh, there it is. He had told you it's identical. Hold on now. Hold on now. Let's 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 make sure that they're identical. Verse 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. And they called his name Esu. Now the word Esu means wasted away. That's going to be very important in a minute. Remember that. And after that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's hill. And his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years when she bare them. So he was, um, I think, 60 years old when he finally had these kids. So the point is, is that they described Esau only. Because even this 
dummy right here looks more like Jacob than what he thinks. Esau came out red because his blood shows forth through his skin. He has pale skin. That's right. Now we got to get the, now how can I prove that? You're just saying stuff. Let me prove myself. Let me prove myself real quick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and just jump over the book of numbers real quick. I just told you, Isu means wasted away. Because why? Because his skin was pale. So he didn't have any melanin. So he was wasted away. So let's prove that what I'm saying is right. And then what he is saying is wrong. So the point I'm proving here is no, Esau and Jacob did not look alike. Jacob was black. They didn't describe Jacob because he looked normal. Esau came out white. His skin was pale. He had red hair. You could see his blood veins through his skin. Let's prove he was white now. Oh, well, it says red. Well, yeah, because you guys ain't really white. You're so-called white people, but actually you, you pink like sweet and low. Let me get this. So... And um, I'm going to start, and this is when, okay, so I'm going to bring you up to speed on the story. Moses was married to um, a Cushite. And Aaron and, um, or an Ethiopian, however you want to say it. So Moses had married an Ethiopian woman. And Aaron and Miriam, his older brother and his older sister, were kind of getting on him for marrying somebody outside of Israel. So this is like killing two birds with one stone, saying you can't marry women from another nation. So we'll, 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 we'll keep that in mind, too, because a lot of you guys say that, oh, oh it's black only or it's white only, whatever it is only, you can't, you can't marry a woman from another nation. But right here... It says, like, when the Most High got word, he heard what they were saying to Moses. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm just going to read it. Why not just, I'm just going to read it to you guys. Because Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And Yahweh suddenly spake unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam, Come ye out three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And the three came out. And Yahweh came down in a pillar of cloud and stood on in the doorway of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I will make myself known unto him in a vision, and I will speak unto him in a dream. So if there's a prophet among you, he's saying, Moses is a prophet. I speak to Moses, and I, ha I give him dreams and visions. So, um, anyway. So, uh, wherefore, when were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? So, he's saying, I, I speak to Moses, mouth to mouth. In fact, let me read it. Let me read it. I didn't, I didn't read it. I'm sorry. My servant Moses is not so. Who is faithful in all mine house? So when he was saying, he said, if, if there be a prophet, Yahweh will let you know in a vision and he'll speak to him. He'll, he'll, he'll make himself known in a vision and he will speak to the prophet in a dream. But he said, my, my, my servant Moses is not so. So he's a whole different type of prophet and, and who is faithful in all mine house. So imagine that his wife is outside of the children of Israel, but he's faithful in all the house of Israel. So that kills that. That's dead. Now let's get to the part where we prove that Esau is a white man. So the anger of Yahweh was kindled against them and he departed and the cloud departed off the tabernacle and behold, Miriam, wait a second, Miriam, his older sister became leprous. So she got leprosy, white as snow. So Moses' older sister was black, and now she has turned white, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. 
And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, here is the point of this whole message. Here's the point. Lay not the sin upon us wherein we have done foolishly where and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh hath is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. Ooh. So wait a second. Who was considered um, consumed? Take, take, who was who came out of his mother's womb wasted away? Hmm. Let me read. Let me just keep reading some more. And Moses cried unto Yahweh, saying, "Heal her now, O Yahweh, I beseech thee." And so, um, <laughs> the Most High didn't heal her, though. You know what he did? He said, "And Yahweh said unto Moses." If her father had been spit in the face, should she not be ashamed for seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days. And after that, I will let her be received again. And so Miriam was taken out of the camp for seven days while she was leprous. Then she went back to normal. On top of that, let her not be as one dead whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. Why would they say that your flesh is half consumed? Because he had no melanin. Now, with that being said, if you got eyes to see and ears to hear, hope you got something out of this really short message. Shalom.